Hi, I'm Abigail Posad, and we are final year mechanical engineering students at the University of Guyana. Our vision is to supply sustainable and renewable energy to persons living in the rural areas. Hi there. In a world where the energy demands are rising, us engineers need to come up with new methods and projects to combat this. Here we are in a village that is not connected to the electric power grid system. But what do they have? They have water, which is clean, affordable, and available. Hence, it's a renewable form of energy. Sustainability in simple terms is meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future generation to meet their needs. Now, why is sustainability important? It is clear that we are run out of fossil fuel. Thousands, if not millions, of animal species will become extinct and we will damage the atmosphere beyond repairs if we don't change. Now this change lies in understanding and striving for sustainability in our homes, in our communities, in our ecosystem, and in the world at large. Now, is hydropower sustainable? Yes, it is. That is for two main reasons. One is because it is a climate-friendly energy source and two, it generates power without producing air pollution or toxic byproducts. So energy as we know is crucial for the development of any country. And currently in our country, there are many areas where people do not have access to energy as opposed to areas where they do have access. And this creates imbalance. So we're hoping to arrive at a destination where the entire nation as a whole can be on one platform when it comes to consumption of energy. And we hope to do this by looking at ways and means where we can implement renewable energy technologies, thereby making it affordable. So instead of um, focusing capital on fossil fuel, which is currently depleting and is also expensive for the general populace, we can implement ways and means of making energy affordable to people living in rural areas and hence focus that capital in other ways that are also crucial for development. Hi everyone, welcome to Geography Lessons. Guyana, land of many waters in native Amerindian tongue. Actually, it's accurately named because it has many rivers streams and trenches that run throughout it. Guyana has a lot of high velocity streams that which holds potential for hydro project, a country being 83,000 square miles and surrounded by numerous rivers. We choose a community, Mahaiko village, because as you can see, the Mahaiko Creek flows beyond me here and it has a lot of potential and being able to set up a Pico project would, would help these people. Energy use in developing countries is closely linked to a range of social issues. Poverty alleviation, health, employment, education, and even lack of opportunities for women. The lack of electricity means limited communication, poor lighting, and a whole host of labor saving devices. As we join for renewable energy, let us take into consideration all the factors, the social factors that is, that affect the lives of people. These impacts include areas with no prior or major encroachments protected area due to landscape values, water quality, change in water temperature, fish fauna affected, cultural heritage affected. All of these factors must be considered when implementing an environmentally friendly hydro project. We are going to implement a Pico hydropower plant to, to produce power for street lights that are clearly not available as you can see. There are no power lines, no telephone lines. There is no connection to the grid. This is the power source that we will be using to power our Pico Hydropower plant. Now, the sluice gate is currently closed so we cannot see the flow of water. Now, a Pico Hydropower plant produces anywhere between 1 kilowatt and 5 kilowatts. With that being said, we would hope to achieve at least 4 kilowatts. With the 4 kilowatts, we can power at least 100 bulbs rated at 50 watts. Thank you. So, before the implementation of this renewable energy project, we hope to provide villagers, communities, and everyone involved with information as to what we are doing, why we are doing it, and the benefits, so that in the end, they can be on the same page with us as to implementing this project. We hope to do this by the use of social media, newspapers, flyers, and any other form of spreading awareness. And in the end, we are hoping that this project will come to pass and will lead to the benefits of the overall rural community. The implementation of the Pico Hydro power system will be undertaken in several stages. The first being the sensitizing and educating of the locals on the importance of the use of this renewable source of energy. 
to the selection of a site for which the project will be done. Three, the selection of several youths in the area for the participation in this project. Four, making sure that this project is sustainable. We recognize that the involvement of youths in renewable energy is crucial for the future. My classmates and I would be very grateful if given the opportunity to be amongst the new generation of decision makers at the 10th IRENA Assembly to be held in January 2020.